Well, it's Aishwarya Rai today. It was Jacqueline Fernandez a few days ago. Con man Sukesh Chandrasekhar, who we're calling India's big super chore, was wooing actor Jacqueline Fernandez with allegedly ill-gotten gain. And that too in style. Apart from lavishing gifts worth over 10 crore rupees on the superstar actor, Sukesh Chandrasekhar, we are told, had a mega plan to serenade the Bollywood actor. According to an insider, con man Sukesh Chandrasekhar promised to produce a 500 crore rupee three-part woman superhero movie project with Jacqueline Fernandez in the lead. Using fake alibis and dropping the names of A-list movie producers, Sukesh allegedly told Jacqueline that he would even produce this movie projecting her in the lead role. An insider reveals that Sukesh knew very well that Jacqueline was looking for work in Bollywood. She wasn't signing too many films and he used that vulnerability to woo her even more. Sukesh promised her that he would produce India's first woman superhero project with her at the helm. Visual effects artists would be brought in from Hollywood, he said, and that this movie series would be shot on a global scale. He told Jacqueline that she re resembled Hollywood superstar Angelina Jolie and that she deserved a superhero series made around her image and her personality. Now, while Jacqueline treated this entire conversation with caution, she was also, also apparently partially convinced that Sukesh would actually mount a project of this monumental scale for her career. Now, at the center of this super chore's web of deceit is Jacqueline Fernandez. The Sri Lankan beauty queen has been grilled by the enforcement directorate at least four times so far and could be questioned again very soon. So how did super chore Sukesh swindle Jacqueline? He faked a call from the home minister of the country's office. He apparently had a phone with a software to spoof numbers and it is argued that he is a mimicry maestro and can mimic voices he hears just once. He even pretended to be related to former Tamil Nadu chief minister and AIA DMK chief, the late Jay Lalitha, just to impress Jacqueline Fernandez. Take a look at how the super chore seduced Jacqueline in this way. India today has access Jacqueline Fernandez's full statement to the enforcement directorate where she reveals how Sukesh conned her. Jacqueline told the enforcement directorate that Sukesh tried to get in touch with her in December 2020 and January 2021, but she did not respond to his calls. She then went on to say that Sukesh got in touch with her makeup artist, impersonating a call from Union Home Minister Amit Shah's office. Sukesh told Jacqueline's makeup artist that the actor must get in touch with him as he is an important person. When Jacqueline did contact Sukesh, he introduced himself as the owner of Sun TV. He also said he's from the political family of former Tamil Nadu Chief Minister JJ Lalita. Sukesh declared he was a big fan of hers and that she should do films in the South. He also told her that Sun TV had many projects lined up for her. After that, Jacqueline says, she continued to stay in touch with Sukesh. In fact, when the alleged con man was out on parole, the two stayed at a hotel in Chennai. Sukesh had, in fact, chartered a private jet for Jacqueline Fernandez to fly and meet him at Chennai. Questioned by the enforcement directorate at least four times, Jacqueline Fernandez admitted that Sukesh gave a loan of $150,000 to Jacqueline Fernandez's sister in the United States of America. She also said Sukesh had transferred 15 lakhs into her brother, Warren Fernandez's account in Australia, and that another 15 lakh rupees were delivered to Jacqueline Fernandez herself in person. She also said that Sukesh Chandrasekhar had bought a horse for her. A heady cocktail of crime, cinema and power. The Sukesh Chandrasekhar extortion files continue to unravel. With Munish Pandey, Bureau Report, India Today.